Hey, what's up? Jigs are here. Are you trying to sign out of your Apple ID in order to access a different account, or do you plan to hand it over to another user? In this video, I will show you three different ways to sign out of your iCloud account on your iPhone. Let's go. If you just need to sign out of your account for a while, you can do so directly in your device's iCloud settings. To get started, open Settings and access your Apple ID account page. Scroll down, click Sign Out, and enter your password to proceed. Note that if you sign out, you won't be able to access certain services such as iCloud, the App Store, Find My, and more. Another way to log out of your account is to remove your iPhone as a trusted device for your Apple ID. There are two ways to remove a trusted device, via iPhone settings or via the web. First off, open settings. Tap your name and browse to the bottom to see a full list of your trusted devices. Select one from the list and click remove from account to confirm. To unlink your device on the web, go to appleid.apple.com slash account slash manage and sign in with your Apple ID. Open the account security configuration page. Choose a device from the list and click remove from account. On the other hand, what if you need to sign out of your Apple ID from your iPhone because you plan to sell it or give it to a new owner? In this case, you will need to completely reset your iPhone to remove the iCloud lock so that the new owner can set up the device without conflict. Of course, make sure to back up your data first to avoid losing important files. For convenience, you can use iCloud Backup to keep a copy of your data. To start, open Settings and navigate to your iCloud account page. Then go to iCloud and iCloud Backup menus respectively. If you have automatic backup enabled, you can simply check the date of your last backup and decide if that is good enough for you. Otherwise, click Backup Now to create one manually. But what if you don't have enough space on your iCloud account to store your backup? Don't worry. Apple provides each user with temporary iCloud storage to fully back up your data so you can transfer it all to your new iPhone. This time, proceed to the General Settings. Browse to Transfer or Reset iPhone and click Get Started. While your iPhone is backing up your data, remember that the file has an expiration date and will only be available for a limited number of days so make sure you restore from it as soon as possible. Once the backup is complete, you can proceed to reset your device. Go back to the General Settings. Scroll down to Transfer or Reset iPhone and select Erase All Content and Settings. Tap Continue. Enter your device passcode and provide your Apple ID password to confirm the reset. When finished and your iPhone restarts, your device is ready to be set up again. That's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye.